video is going to show you how to let a button control a movie clip. So just to explore what I've got here, um, this thing right here is a button. So if I look inside of it, I've got my up, over, down, and hit states. And this object right here is a movie clip that I've animated to glide across the screen and come back. I test this movie right now. Everything's going. Um, my button will show its states when I mess with it. But there's nothing actually triggering anything else. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually I want to stop my movie clip so it doesn't play unless I tell it to play with this play button. So let me go into this guy's timeline, go to the first frame, open up actions, and tell it to stop so that it doesn't keep playing while I'm not ready for it. So let's just verify that works. Yes, and nothing's moving. Okay. So what I want to do is make this button cause this movie clip to play. My first step in that is to give these guys both instance names. So I'm going to um, select my movie clip here and give it an instance name. Let's just call it box. And then I'm going to give my button a name. I'm going to call it, uh, let's see, B play or button play. Okay. And then I need to do some coding. So I'm going to open up and just make a layer that's specifically for actions here. Let me open up my actions tab. Okay. So I need to have um, my code deal with mouse situations. So I need to bring in um, this library that will listen for mouse events for me. Okay. And then my next step, I have to actually do what's called registering these two things um, with the the overall movie. So I have to tell my stage that this button and this movie clip belong to it in code. And it's really easy to do that. All I have to do is say stage, because that's the name of the white part here on the screen, dot add child. And then inside the parentheses, I put the name or the instance name I just chose for these guys. So this guy was box. So I'll add in box, and then I need to do the button as well, uh, B play, and you will need to do that for anything that you have on the screen um, that you want to control via code um, like we're doing here. So if you add additional buttons, you will have to register all of them with a stage to be able to do the rest of this coding. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to tell this button to listen for a mouse click, and if it does, to ask this guy to do some action. So in this particular example, I'm going to have this button ask this movie clip to play through its frames because currently it's stopped. So I'm going to tell B play that I need to add an event listener to it. Um, and the event I'm listening for is a mouse event. Click. And if it happens, I want to play my movie. Um, so a couple things. Uh, this is, again, the instance name of my um, button. This code won't change. It's always add event listener. This code won't change because I'm going to be listening for clicks for all the buttons I would want to implement. This word right here I'm choosing, and that is going to be the name of the function I'm about to write that tells this movie clip what to do in response to a mouse click. So that's my last piece here is to write a function called play movie. And again, you can choose anything you want here. Um, it needs to be uh, letters and not have any spaces in it. And then I will put in here, um, in between the parentheses, event, mouse event, so that it knows um, that it's related to this click listening that it's doing. And then in between these two curlies, I can tell this movie clip to do whatever I want it to do. So it's called box. And after my dot, I can mess with various properties um, to change them. If what I want to do is trigger the movie kit clip to play, then that's very easy. I just say box.play. And that should be it. So let's see if this sucker works. Okay, here's the test. I'm going to click it. So yes, my movie clip plays through. So if you're looking at this um, and thinking about working out additional buttons, um, for every button that you add, you're going to have to, again, register it with a stage like that. You're going to have to add an event listener to it, and you're going to have to write a function that starts with the word function. Again, you're choosing this word. They will all have this business in the parentheses, 
so that they're associated with mouse events. And then in between the curlies will be where you customize what the action is that gets triggered. Um, so that is triggering various things with buttons.